G'day viewers. So I'm on my way to go and see a customer to do a site visit that has verbally committed to buying a solar system from us. And in the design, I've designed it with a 15 kilowatt solar edge inverter. And I went with solar edge because the roof space, it's a large home, it's two story, but the roof space is relatively um, complex. There's lots of different orientations, so that's why I've used the um, Solar Edge product. But ultimately, they want to have a battery, and being three phase, uh, I always get a little bit stuck as a designer trying to come up with the right three phase battery. But there's a new product on the market called Sig Energy. Um, and they do a really amazing three-phase battery storage solution. So I've got the dilemma of going to see this client now. I'm five minutes away from their house and I'm actually going to uh, suggest that they change uh, the system that we're going to do and that we go with the SIG Energy system. Um, the reason being is, like I said, they're three-phase they are in an area where they get power outages. Um, the other products you've got for three-phase battery backup and islanding um, are your Fronius, Gen 24, SunGrow, your Goodwee. Um, I'm missing one. Can't think of it right now. But none of them can actually do a UPS style backup. So when your power goes out, there is a break in power, and then there's you know 20 seconds, something like that, your power comes back on. Um, that's a pain in the ass. I mean, in my opinion, if you're gonna have battery backup, you need it to be um, instant. Because if you've got to run around and reset everything and lose your work on your computer or whatever, then it kind of defeats the purpose. So SIG Energy, some of the positives that I've thought of after doing a bit of research on the product and as it turns out only just today in Perth Western Australia or well actually sorry this is Australia wide the Clean Energy Council has approved the three phase SIG Energy uh, product for uh, uh, grid connection um, that literally just came about today which I didn't know um, I would have found that out the hard way when I went to do an application uh, online with Western Power uh, so that is approved um, if you want to do three phase um, inverter with, uh, sorry, hybrid inverter with no batteries with the intention of installing batteries later, then you have to do the hybrid inverter, I believe, which is not approved uh, for installation just yet. So at the moment, you can only uh, install it three phase uh, with batteries. You can't do it without batteries. So some of the positives that we've got here is the these clients want to have an EV uh, so the SIG Energy has a, a integrated EV charger that you can add in um, it, it stacks up on blocks and you can add in that block is the EV charger now the now a really um, unique part of the SIG Energy one is you can use a regular uh, wall connector uh, AC wall connector for your EV, but they can also do a DC fast charger uh, up to 22 kilowatts, I think it was, DC. Um, that's awesome. You can't do that with any other residential EV charger that I'm aware of as a DC fast charger. They're usually seven kilowatts or beyond that, they're limited by the onboard inverter on the EV, which I don't think many go above 11. Um, so typically residential, that's as the fastest you can charge an EV. Again, that depends on the inbuilt EV ch inverter on your EV. Uh, but uh, DC fast charging is like what you'd use in a commercial application where you go and plug your, your car in at the shops and that sort of thing. Um, the three phase backup to your whole house, you don't have to find particular circuits you want to back up. You can back up the whole house quite easily. Uh, they do have different size um, inverter packs available. 
um, you can um, you can island it's got the UPS backup uh, it's easily expandable so they're, they're quite a good looking battery a lot of the batteries are, are pretty industrial they're just a horrible rectangle thing um, this is quite a good looking battery um, and you can literally just stack the batteries up on top of each other um, it can do the dynamic grid charging so like same as the Tesla it will intuitively take only from the grid what it needs to to ensure it's fully charged um, by the time your um, peak tariff kicks in which for us is 3 p.m. Um, so that's really good I don't know of any other battery that can do that other than Tesla um, vehicle to X capable so V2X means it can do both vehicle to grid and vehicle to home um, that's not approved here um, for us to do but the SIG Energy uh, system is capable of doing it so when we do get approval for it it's ready to go and um, we can um, easily just uh, add that in with a bit of programming um, from an installer point of view everything is in one it does have the separate gateway like the Tesla um, but that's fine um, that's and you only need that if you're wanting the battery backup you can still have it with just the inverter and the batteries and you don't need the gateway but if you want that backup function then you do need the gateway so that makes sense why wouldn't you um, and uh, easy commissioning apparently I mean obviously I've not commissioned one yet but from all the information I can find apparently the commissioning is really easy, easy. and from an installer's point of view when you've spent the whole day installing a system quite often you'll sit there for an hour or two fluffing about with a system trying to commission it it's just a pain in the ass so easy commissioning is uh, a very attractive feature to myself as an installer so I'm going to go see this client now and um, have a chat with them. It makes perfect sense to me. Um, works out a bit cheaper as well. Uh, I can still get all my different orientation panels on because uh, one of the MPPT inputs on the SIG Energy uh, inverter is capable of me paralleling uh, the east and the west facing panels. So I can do that. It has the 15 kilowatt three phase um, inverter has three MPPTs so one will be facing north one will be facing south don't get started haters about the south facing panels any solar is better than no solar so I'm filling up the whole roof and uh, trust me south facing panels in summer still make good power so we've got every orientation north and south will be the, on their own MPPTs and east and west will be uh, paralleled. So that gives me the three MPPTs. So I can still do it. And um, so it makes perfect sense to me. So I'm going to see the client, go and see what he says. I'll let you know. Okay, so um, after explaining the features and benefits of both the different packages, uh, the client decided to go with the SIG Energy um, setup. So, pretty excited about that. I'm looking forward to uh, giving that a, a try and seeing how it all works out. It looks like a really good product and it was kind of a no-brainer. It really is a pain in the ass trying to find a good three-phase solution when your client wants backup, especially when they want whole home backup, islanding and a true UPS. So. I'll get the ball rolling on that one. I may take a video when I'm finished. Um, it's a client that likes their privacy, so possibly not, but we'll see how we go. But there we go. The client decided SIG Energy over um, SolarEdge and Tesla for their three-phase application it is.